Hello friends, welcome to probably the only vehicle cake you will ever see me make on this channel. I am so pleased to be a part of this cake collab for the movie Onward. Be sure to check out everybody else's creations. They're amazing. Liz from Sugar Geek Show made a freaking unreal wizard staff. Karina from Love from the Oven made this super cute little unicorn eating some garbage. And then Rob from Mr. Baker's Cakes made Ian and Tracy from Little Cherry Cake Company made this adorable little mushroom house. Zoe's cake is coming very soon and I'll have that link below when it's out. So once again, don't forget to check out everybody else's cake. All right, let's get started. So I have a template of the side of the van and I will link all of the images I use below. And I cut out a piece of cake board that was the exact length of my template. And I just guesstimated the width for how wide I want the van to be. There wasn't really a picture or a reference for me to make it exact, so I did eyeball this part. I marked where the wheels sit on either side and I'm just using a circle cutter just to indent that shape and cut that out. You wanna make sure there's enough room for you to be able to tuck a whole wheel in there. I covered up where I cut with some tin foil tape just to keep everything food safe. And then I'm gonna start layering on my cake. I have some vanilla cake with some chocolate buttercream and I'm gonna start stacking that up, just making sure that it fits within the dimensions of my cake board. So the same width and the same length. I used my template to make sure I had enough height and then I went around with my knife and I'm trimming off all of the sides because I wanna make sure that there is a gap between my board and the cake to account for the ganache and the fondant I'm gonna add. If I didn't do that, then my cake is gonna end up being quite a bit bigger than my template and I am deathly relying on my template to get me through this, so I don't want that to happen. I've made two cardboard cutouts of that van with the wheels cut off and I'm lining that up so that it's going to be matched on either side and this is going to help me get the exact right shape when I carve so that one side isn't going to be like a little bit lower. I'm not eyeballing this. This is like a guide for your knife to cut all the way through. Once I was happy with the shape, I did the exact same thing I did for the sides. I'm just trimming off a layer of cake on the top and also the front and the back just leaving some space for my ganache and fondant. So I'm keeping those templates in place while I add my first layer of ganache just to trap in all those crumbs. And then I'm gonna add a thicker layer and I'm using the templates as a guide for my bench scraper or whatever you have, just to make sure again that I'm getting a perfectly level top, perfectly level front, nothing is gonna be wonky. I let my cake chill in the fridge and then I very carefully just loosened those side templates with my knife. I cut the template down to where there's a divot on the van and again if you look at the picture you'll see what I'm talking about and I'm cutting this at an angle so that it ever so slightly slopes inwards towards the top. This is what it looked like when I was done. It's a very slight difference but it is a difference if you don't cut it up that way it can make it look really boxy. Now I'm gonna add my ganache to the sides. You can see that I've still left the wheel parts uncut. I'm gonna do that later. I'm just doing the exact same thing, adding a crumb coat, letting it firm up, and then I'm gonna go over the whole cake and smooth it out as best I can. To help me get the ganache extra smooth, I dipped my spatula in some hot water and then just brushed that off and went over my whole cake. It definitely was not perfect. I tried and I tried and that's why I never do vehicle cakes because I think it's a lack of knowledge about vehicles and like what the proper proportions are supposed to be that holds me back. So it was as good as I could possibly do. I popped that into the fridge to chill and then I'm gonna start to work on my fondant. I'm rolling out some navy blue fondant on my cornstarch surface. I went a little ham with the cornstarch. You could probably use a little bit less than I did. And I'm draping that over my chilled cake and just working quickly with my hands and my fondant smoother to get it as smooth as possible. I cut away the excess at the bottom and don't mind the cornstarch because I am going to be painting this so that will be covered. And while my fondant was still soft, I'm using my template to mark in the lines and just deepening that with my fondant tool. I used a piece of cardstock just to help me keep everything nice and straight. And I'm also going to outline the windshield and then the hood. 
With my X-Acto knife, I am cutting into the windshield and the side windows. Just careful not to cut too deeply into the ganache and just gently peeling that away. To give my cake some elevation so it's not flat on the board, I cut out a couple pieces of cake board and then glued them together and wrapped that whole thing with some tin foil tape. I made sure that this was long enough and wide enough that when my cake was centered on it, it gave it some really good support. And I hot glued the base of my cake to the top of that so it's nice and sturdy. You don't wanna make this too thin, otherwise your cake's just gonna topple over. Once you add the wheels, you can't really see it unless you're like down at eye level, but I did wrap it with some black fondant off camera just to help with the camouflage a little bit more. I mix some dark blue food coloring gel with some food grade alcohol and with my fluffy brush, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. You may need to do a couple layers just to get a handle on any streakiness. Just make sure that your layers have dried completely before trying to add more. Otherwise, you're just going to drag the color and the streaks will not go away. I rolled out thin pieces of black fondant and then just cut out shapes to fill in all of the windows. I use my X-Acto knife and my template to cut out the exact shape of the wheel wells. And then just using a spoon, I'm just cutting out any cake that stretches beyond where my cake board is. I added another sheet of that blue fondant on top and then just trimmed that down to size. Again, just using my cue card to help me get some straight lines. There's like a visor on the front of the van, so I added a strip of blue fondant and then folded a piece of that cue card in half and just tried to tuck that in so that it would open a little bit and press that visor up and it would dry that way. Now I'm gonna start shading with a fluffy brush and some black color dust. I know the cake looks a little bit shiny, but I swear that's going to dry completely down. I was just jumping the gun a little bit because I'm pretty sure it was two in the morning at this point and I had a deadline to meet. So I was kind of rushing it, but it will dry down, it will not be shiny. Now for the decorations, I'm gonna start making the front grill headlight portion of the van. There was no template for this, so I just heavily relied on my photo and tried to recreate it as best I could. I added that to the front of my van using a little bit of shortening to adhere it. And then I did pop those lights off just so I could paint everything silver. And I just shaded that a little bit with some black so it wasn't like pristine, blindingly metallic. It looked a little bit grungy. I used more of that gray to create the front bumper and I also lined the wheel wells. I couldn't really tell from the photo if the back ones were the same. They might have been, but that's kind of the poopy part of doing a cake based off of a movie that isn't out yet because not all of the reference photos were like for every angle, so I did have to guess a couple things. The main focal point of this van is of course that amazing, amazing painting on the side. So to start that, I mixed together some white food coloring with purple and blue, and I'm gonna start stippling on a couple layers, just alternating between the two. Once I had a good base color, I cut out this Pegasus template, and then I just pinned that in place so it wouldn't move. I'm adding some pale blue over top of that, just trying to hold down the template in any of the corners because I don't want this to spread. I want the shape to be pretty well preserved as I'm stippling that on there. While that dries, I'm adding some pieces of orange fondant to the front and the back, and then aligning those with gray, which I did paint silver, just to create the lights. I lined the windshield with some thin pieces of gray fondant and then added a little door handle on either side. Once my Pegasus was fairly dry, I peeled back my template and then just cleaned up any edges with some more of that blue paint I painted the van with initially and then just re-stippled on that blue and purple color. I let that dry one more time and I'm gonna start working on covering my board. I just laid down some gray fondant and used my stone impression mat and then I'm gonna paint the whole thing with some black food coloring mixed with some food grade alcohol. And I'm wiping that away with a damp piece of paper towel just so that color mainly settles into all the nooks and crannies. I also popped the lights on the front, which you can see. 
For each wheel, I took a ball of black fondant and then just shaped it against my workspace just to get a wheelie type shape and then use my fondant roller to indent the middle and then just added whatever design I thought was based off of the picture. Each wheel looked a little bit different, so I did this one just plain black and then for the back one, I did add a little silver hubcap into the center. I made sure the wheels were completely dry before I added them to my cake and I just secured those in place with some dried spaghetti. For the side mirror, you can see I already added a little piece of gray fondant and then I'm just attaching the mirror part with a piece of dried spaghetti. And then I think there's also duct tape on there, so I just added a couple little pieces crisscrossing on the bottom. I added a couple dots all around the Pegasus for the stars. And then I made the little crescent moon shape out of my template and I'm just adding that backlight as well. For the lights on top of my cake, I just spaced out three little squares of orange and I'm covering the backs of that with some gray fondant. I painted all of the orange lights with a little bit of orange food coloring and then yellow for the yellow lights just to give it a little more dimension so it's not flat. I added a bumper to the back and I also lined the windows and there was no photo of the back available while I was making this so I see now that there's like a spare wheel on there as well so I'll attach that picture. So I missed that on this cake but you should add it if you're gonna make it. And finally to finish off the Pegasus. This freaking Pegasus was the bane of my existence and made me want to throw the cake against the wall but I did my best. I know it does not look perfect. I just tried to highlight everything with white based off of the photo. I'm not an artist. I'm hesitant to show you how I did anything because really I just completely winged this part. It was not my favorite, but I just trudged through and hopefully you can see if you look at the photo how I tried to paint this. And this was the final result. I made sure to go over everything that was gray and paint it silver. I added the little words Valor on the front, just like the cake. Again, I'm sure there's probably some more detailing on this that I missed. I just wasn't able to get all the photos while I was making this. So double check it if you wanna give it a go. I know this tutorial was all over the place and if you made it to the end, I congratulate you. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed watching me struggle and again, probably will never make a vehicle on this channel ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I promise the next tutorial will not be such a hot mess. I will see you then.